Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and we are back on the quest to find the best MagSafe accessories that aren't specific to iPhone. What we're going to be doing today is looking at a brand new product that works directly on my Galaxy S22 Plus, any Android device plus just any device in general to bring MagSafe to multiple different devices, not just exclusive to the iPhone. So let's take a look. Now, a couple of things before we get into the video. MagSafe isn't just for the charging side of things like Apple would have you believe with their MagSafe charger. It can be used for a multitude of different things. Apple themselves, they do also sell their own MagSafe wallet. You've got some products from DJI and also Moment that use MagSafe for a ton of accessories out there, so it's not just for charging. So if you've got a device that doesn't have wireless charging built on board, not to worry, you can still use a ton of MagSafe accessories with this product. So, as you may know, I've been using the Pataka Mag Easy Case 2 for some time now on my S22 Plus. It does a really great job, really nice design to it, and as you can see from inside the case here, you've got that MagSafe ring and also the lining up section at the bottom, which fits directly onto the S22, allowing me to use any MagSafe accessories that I need to. But, a case like this isn't necessarily for everybody, so in comes the M-Plate. Now, this comes direct from a company called Sinjumori, it's available on Amazon, and of course, it will be linked in that description down below. And and basically, it's just a sticker that has MagSafe magnets built on board that you can attach to any device that you need to. So again, for me, in my case, the S22 Plus is the device I'm going to be using. So let's take a quick look at where you get inside the packaging, attach it, and see exactly how it works. Now, this is actually a really affordable option coming in at only around $11 or so, so very cheap indeed. Now, the first thing you're going to have, of course, is the instruction guide, which basically shows you how to use it and what you need to do. You've then got the guide itself to basically help you line up the magnets very very precisely which is needed and then you've got some accessories you've got the magsafe ring itself you do have some dust removal stickers and also you do have a plate as well so if you do have a device with a very glossy metal back or a glass back then you do need to use the additional attachment as well for me though where the back of the s22 plus is more of sort of a matte frosted finish this isn't necessarily needed but again then you do have the guide stickers which you will need because you then need to line up the guide precisely to get everything in line as you need to for the wireless charging but let's get all this out of the way, bring in the S22 and actually attach the magnets themselves. Now I've already gone ahead and cleaned my S22 Plus and you do need to do that. You don't want any dust or fingerprints or grease on there whatsoever. You then need to line up the guide on the back here. Now you do want to have it quite high in regards to the wireless charger, attach your guide stickers and then you're pretty much set and ready to go. Now the actual magnet side of things itself does have some 3M tape on the back which is very grippy and very sticky indeed. And you can actually see some of the magnets because it is slightly frosted on the back here. And of course, I've gone for the black model because my Galaxy S22 is in black, but you do have some other color options as well. All you then need to do is make sure you've got it lined up precisely. And again, you've got that guide there anyway. Stick it down, leave it for a couple of minutes, and then you're ready to accessorize with anything to do with magnets. And then once you remove the guide, you're set and you're ready to go. So as you can see here, a little bit of a close up on the S22 Plus. It does unfortunately cover up the Samsung logo just on the bottom, but that line going down is needed to actually line up some accessories. So let's just have a quick look at some of the accessories that I've got here, see how they work, and just in general, see if it is worth the money. So the first accessory we're going to be looking at is the Mag Easy Car Mount from Pataka. And all of the accessories that we're looking at in today's video, I have done full videos on, which of course will be linked in the description down below this one's cool because it has the magnet for the actual magsafe and wireless charging as well we've then got the bataka mag easy card sleeve 3 now this one in my review i said wasn't necessarily the best accessory in the world but of course it is available with magsafe we've then got the mag back wallet in leather now, this was probably one of the better options that i've used in regards to a magsafe wallet and it fits really well and feels really nice as well and then of course we had to get the apple magsafe charger directly from apple coming in at 30 39 pounds here in the UK, which is a little bit excessive just for a standard sort of wireless charging puck. And some of these accessories, like the MagSafe charger, I may have bought specifically for this video and I may also be returning them. So let's start with my least favorite, the Mag Easy Card 3 from Pataka. Now, the reason why I'm not a huge fan of this is just in general, it's a little bit thick. You can see the magnets on the back here and it actually does a really good job when attaching it to the device. 
Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't necessarily the best one out there. It doesn't line up very well and it does move around ever so slightly. And when it is actually on the device itself, it does go over the camera hump on the back there, which means that it's not completely flush to the device. And that's kind of what you want when it comes to the magnet side of things. Now, one thing that I would say though, is when you don't have any accessory on here whatsoever, with this magnetic ring, it does actually eliminate the wobble that you get because of the camera hump. So that's also quite a nice additional feature. Now, I can't sort of move this around or shake it around to see if it's going to be coming off or anything like that i can do my best to kind of try and move it and kind of dislodge it ever so slightly but it doesn't actually come off so while it may not be the best accessory out there it still does a really good job at actually staying on the device itself next then we have the mag easy car mount pro again from pataka now in my video review for this i did actually label it as the best wireless car mount charger out there and that's because the magnet itself is extremely strong so as you can see with this one i've got a little something to hold on to like so i can actually shake it around move it around and this thing isn't going anywhere and it's actually a little bit harder to get off than when i'm using it with the pataka case is actually meant for so again overall i think this one feels extremely nice it picks up the device really easily it does also have that auto align feature as well because the magnet side of things does have that magnet that goes down slightly from the circle so in general this is probably one of the better options out there now if it shakes around and moves around and falls off in the car it's not going to be great but overall i think the car mount works extremely well which then leads us on nicely to our second wallet MagSafe accessory, the MagBack Wallet. Now this one has a really nice leather design to it. The cars themselves are actually on the inside here, so they are protected. And you do also have a loop on the back side of things in regards to kind of helping you. And you know, if you've got a bigger device, this may help you actually hold the device itself. And this one is again, extremely strong. So I'm actually going to use the finger loop on the back here, shake it around. And again, as you can see, this thing isn't going anywhere. Now for something that only costs around $11 from Amazon and is magnets I wasn't necessarily expecting it to be the best product out there but the magnets themselves are actually extremely strong again taking the wallet on and off it does have a very nice satisfying click to it when it magnetizes to the back and like I mentioned it's extremely strong not going to go anywhere and if you're using the finger hole on there to shake it around and move it around you're going to be completely fine and then lastly we're going to finish it off with the Apple MagSafe charger which I am going to unbox extremely carefully because again I may or may not be returning this back to Apple ASAP. Now once you get everything out of the packaging, of course in true Apple fashion, it has a really nice look and feel to it and it is very premium, but you would expect it to be for around £39. Of course, everything linked in the description below. Now again, with this one, I've never actually used any sort of Apple MagSafe accessory and again, the magnets themselves are extremely strong. Now I've got the charger plugged in, as you can see it's charging around an hour and 50 minutes, around two hours or so to charge for about 50%. So it is definitely on the slower side of wireless charging. But again, if I actually hold it by the cable and shake it around and yeah, as you can see here, the cable itself is still intact, which is rare for an Apple product. And just in general, it holds on very well. Taking it on and off the actual device is quite nice. Now it is a metal sort of housing for the MagSafe charger. And I do have a black S22 Plus, so I don't necessarily know how that will hold up very well with scratches. But again, moving it around and kind of wiggling it about, it holds on extremely well and again, it is actually charging the device as well it doesn't sort of auto line up or anything like that which is a little bit of a shame but as you can see here again about an hour and 50 minutes for just under 50 percent charge in total so yes it is a bit slow but it's also very convenient so again with the apple magsafe charger this also does a really good job and i'm just very impressed in general with the m plate considering the price and the fact that it's an amazon accessory i wasn't expecting the best and that's going to do it guys for this video on the best MagSafe accessory for any device. Now everything that I've mentioned will be listed in that description down below including all of the MagSafe products that are used and also the MagSafe sticker itself so be sure to check the description for anything that you need. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions or comments let me know in the comments section below as well. If you're not already subscribed now's a great time to do so and once you've hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified any time I post a video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.